Thinking about cancer can be scary. But, like with most challenges in life, the more we know about it, the better we can face and fight the disease. First, it's important to know that many cancers can be prevented by eating wisely, being active, not smoking, and limiting how much alcohol you drink. Besides having a healthy lifestyle, it's also important to get recommended cancer screening tests. The good news is, when found early, most cancers are much easier to treat. Let's take a closer look at three of the most common types of cancer, lung, breast, and colorectal cancer. Lung cancer is the leading cause of all cancer deaths, by far. Can you guess the number one cause of lung cancer? That's right, it's smoking cigarettes. Right now, there are about 430,000 people living with this cancer in the U.S. Often, lung cancer has no symptoms until it spreads, but sometimes symptoms may include a cough or respiratory infection that won't go away, coughing up blood, and hoarseness. If you have any of these, you should see your doctor. To diagnose lung cancer, tests like x-rays and MRIs are used. To know for sure, a sample of lung tissue is tested. VA recommends screening for lung cancer for people ages 55 to 80 who have smoked one pack a day for 30 years and are still smoking, or if they quit less than 15 years ago. Next, the most common cancer found in women, breast cancer. In fact, one in eight women will have breast cancer in their life, and a small number of men will have it too. Unfortunately, there are often no symptoms. But the most common one is finding a lump. Others may include swelling, skin irritation, and breast pain. If you have any of these, you should see your doctor. To diagnose breast cancer, mammograms, ultrasounds, and MRIs take images. A biopsy may also be taken to test for cancer. To screen for early signs of breast cancer, VA recommends a mammogram for women every year if you are 45 to 54. If you are 40 to 44, you may choose to start annual mammograms. Screening under age 40 may be recommended if you are high risk. Discuss your risk level with your provider. If you are 55 to 74, you should have a mammogram every one to two years. Some women 75 or older should also get screened. Unlike breast cancer, colorectal cancer affects men and women almost equally and is the third most common type of cancer. It usually starts with a growth or polyp inside the colon or rectum and takes several years to develop into cancer. Like many cancers, there are often no symptoms in the early stages. If you do have them, they may include rectal bleeding, blood in the stool, a change in bowel habits, and cramping. If you have any of these, you should see your doctor. Screening tests have different risks benefits, and recommended frequency. To look for signs of colorectal cancer, tests may be based on a stool sample or direct colon view tests such as colonoscopy or CT colonography. VA recommends adults ages 50 to 75 be screened for colorectal cancer. Earlier screening under age 50 may be recommended if you are at high risk. Discuss your risk level with your provider. If you are ages 76 to 85, Screening may also be recommended for some. With regular screening, polyps can be removed before they have a chance to turn into cancer. When it comes to treating lung, breast, and colorectal cancer, many of the same therapies are used. Their job is to remove and destroy cancer cells. These therapies include surgery, chemotherapy and other medicines, radiation, immunotherapy, and hormone therapy. And now, you're probably wondering which cancer screenings you should get and when. Your VA healthcare team can help identify which tests are best for you based on your medical risk and family history. Remember, preventing cancer starts with reducing your risk by living a healthy lifestyle. Then, be sure to get the recommended screenings to look for cancer before you show any signs so it can be treated early. For more information, visit www dot prevention dot va dot gov